to implement a new a new way of life. We have uh, realized so we have a team all around the world from many nationalities, and we have realized that the system in place uh, doesn't suit everybody. We have a lot of misery in every country you can go, so we try to implement a new way of of living. So there is a uh, white paper that's created. I will not go through all of it. But basically, we call it the Ubuntu movement. Ubuntu is not related to the Linux computer things. It's just an African expression that says that it's, if a system is not good for all the community numbers, then it's not good at all. So we have this Ubuntu vision, and we try to implement it through our implementation plan that we call One Mall Town. For this, we have a sign with mayors of a town of around 10,000 inhabitants. We have a first uh, city in Lebanon where uh, we will implement this one small town initiative. Basically, we will ask all the um, town people to give of their time, to give three hours a week of their time for uh, work in a business in the city to produce goods and to produce more goods that the city need. So to have a city of abundance, so all the citizens can enjoy all the uh, fruits of the work, the collaborative work of the city. So for this, we need many tools. We need, for example, to uh, register the skills, the abilities of all the people of the city. So we can know in which business they can work. For this, we need a smart card that will be linked to the blockchain to have a database decentralized when we can just pick a name and uh, ask him if you want to work on this, or this business. We will also need investors, exterior investors, to uh, invest in the town business. We want to create a crypto token that will allow us to uh, raise awareness all over the world and to have investors that will give the money for the uh, city uh, business plan that we uh, create, and that they will be able to uh, win a share, to have dividend from the product that we will uh, create in the town and distribute in the neighboring town. So there are uh, five proposals we did in this Cardano uh, Catalyst uh, found round. There is one for the smart card that we need. There's one to create a smart contract that will be linked to an NFT marketplace, which will be a representation of the investor share in the business. There is also a wallet that we will need to create to uh, register the time, to time bank the volunteer, you know, uh, three hours a week time that they give. We need to register all this in a wallet. We will need also to have a, um, a token that will be used as a community uh, currency. So in the city, uh, we want a free, a free exchange of all the products. But for that, we will need a, a intermediary exchange that will be this token. So we also have the need of an open source and scalable, scalable uh, system because we have one city in Lebanon for now that we implement already uh, this vision that we have, but we have many other cities all around the world. We have, for example, some tribal land in South Africa, which is 100,000 people, even more. So we have like millions of people just waiting for us from in their city to implement all our solution and to use all our tools. So we are trying to, um, to build all these tools and to uh, test them on the field in our first city in Lebanon. Then, once it's successful, we can um, really reach to more mayors that we already signed and to come to them with the tools and to implement in their city as well this solution. So we have a user base to start of 10,000 already, but this will increase to millions in just one year from now. And in 10 years, we could be, we can only dream of, but we can be a huge amount of uh, workforce all around the world. We are already, we have uh, ambas ambassadors in more than uh, 15, I think, countries where we actually look for more 
if you could do the last two sentences uh, in order to close your presentation, this would be great. Thank you. All right, I will try. <laughs> so we will. <laughs> we have many mayors interested by our vision, by our plan that we details in our. We have a website. We have a, a YouTube channel with one hundred thousand subscribers. So we have many people interested, just waiting for us. So we need to create the tools to test them, and then we need to, to scale all the tools we have to the other uh, town, to the other cities. Thank you very much. Uh, I start with the first question. Is there anything yeah, you didn't mention uh, because you were running out of time and want to share yeah, to this amazing. audience? I have many things to share. It's, it's a huge <laughs> ecosystem we are trying to, to build. That's why we have five proposals because we need many tools. And all the tools, um, we, are, we have them details here on the white paper. And I try to detail them as much as I could in all the proposals. So we need to build, and we want to put on Cardano because we, want, we know that Cardano is looking to improve the, the life of the, the most of the people uh, as possible on, on the planet Earth that we all share. So if Cardano and One Small Town can collaborate together and, and build this, all the tools that we need, it will give to, to us all the tools that we need, but to Cardano, it will give a, a user base always ending. Thank you. Alex, you're the first. Thank you. First of all, very revolutionary idea. Uh, so this is, makes us exciting, but a question. Uh, about uh, economic sustainability. Do you understand it right that you believe there is a plan how by taking only three hours of work of all the inhabitants, you can sustain all the economy of a small town? Yes, absolutely. I, I, I will not have time and the, the vision to, to details to you now how we do that. But, but we that is on the website, right? I can read it there. We have uh, a book from Michael Tellinger that is called Ubuntu Contributionism. So we have 300 pages that details how we put all in place, how it is three hours a week by some volunteers is enough to have a very successful cities and 10,000 uh, inhabitants, it's a very fairly small city and we can make just billions if we do it well. And all the plan is in this book. So it's Michael Tellinger, Ubuntu Contributionism. And you have for free, you can find it online for free in uh, French, English, any language you want. You can also Fair. buy it to, to uh, support the project for $12. Fair. Thank you. Thank you, Alex and Victor. Any other questions from the audience? Mm, what is, why, uh, why do you need to create your own wallet? Always wallet questions. <laughs> Excuse me, can you repeat that? Oh, um, yeah, uh, one of the proposals you want to have is to create your own wallet. Is that right? Yes, yeah. yes. So we need a wallet. We need a wallet to store. So there's two tokens that we need to uh, create. One is for the investors that they invest in the, in the business of the town. And in the exchange, they can buy an NFT to have a share, to have dividend from this business. There's another token we need to create to uh, time and bank the time that the volunteer uh, spend. So for this, we need a, a wallet, yes. Um, to yeah. And to mm -hmm. yeah, I, I feel like you might not need a wallet, but maybe I'm stupid uh, because um, I think there are some open source wallets that you could use. And staking is just a question of the policy, if, uh, if I remember correctly from the Prism stuff. But maybe Thomas knows more. I have the same feeling, but but I'm not 100% sure whether I got all the details because you mentioned, uh, Victor also mentioned that he needs to lock the time uh, and I don't know a wallet where you can uh, lock the time at the moment, uh, but maybe that's some additional feature on top. So if you could leverage or you reuse an open source wallet uh, and add the time tracking feature uh, and uh, combine it with a smart contract contract for the token exchange, this, this uh, would justify it. Right. Well, for, from my knowledge, there is a, a wallet that next. could be used is the, is the Endow wallet, but it's not open source. So we need to create a, an open source wallet that will be specific to our need. And there's no notes that I am aware of in the market for now. John, please. But maybe there is a person who found it. Yeah, sorry, Victor. 
No, that's fine. Now, it's Victor and I actually I'm coming in as a, a co-partner with uh, Victor. And where I came from is, from, uh, is on the business planning part of the One Small Town. And when we were working through many applications, I realized, oh, this is, these are very viable needs, i.e., there was time banking. How do you track uh, the quality of the uh, the products and services to ensure that those uh, uh, Ubuntu products, if they're in the marketplace, have a defining uh, sec secure uh, element? And I looked upon, like you say, the, the the prism model, and all of a sudden I thought, gee, this ecosystem <laughs> could fit on. Uh, the blockchain and then that's where i became involved with the, the cardano over the last year and i said wow this is amazing we could be the real financial system and the uh, the centralized financial system or cardano with its platform could serve a lot of these needs in a decentralized way and also be scalable so uh, victor being uh, on the tech side made it very uh, clear that a lot of these tools that we are functioning now in the small town of El uh, uh, Raz Al Matan uh, could become much more efficient and much more scalable once we have uh, these these tools. And Mike, you're absolutely right. If there are tools and wallets that we could use, then that's fantastic. And the application and the research to make sure which are going to be beneficial to this real environment is essential. So uh, that's my my two cents worth. But uh, we're dealing with a real situation with a real uh, economy that needs a uh, 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 smart, uh, uh, decentralized uh, financial modeling and other uh, services. So also the consensus model is very important for people to pick and choose the, where they're going to work and the quality of the businesses that we're going to uh, uh, engage and, and support. And uh, there was another model, Alex, if the one small town, the three hours a week, it is a... <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping that people who are working in their environment will slowly find that they can engage more and more into the one small town model. And so within a transitional period, we're moving from a, 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 a legacy system to the one small town system. And uh, that gives the freedom and abundance for people to not have to work as much, uh, but also to do the work that they really love to do. So uh, there's a lot of interpretive uh, uh, ways of looking at how this uh, will uh, unfold. But uh, we're, it's a very wonderful exchange that we're trying to engage with uh, Cardano on. So. What's the current state of the project? Well, Are like you I looking say, for the funding the to start uh, with the development? Uh... No, no, we already start. We already implement many things. There's already businesses running. We are already on the field in the first city in Lebanon. We have their uh, timber. We have volunteer already. That uh, We have a business planning team, for example. We are writing all the business plan that we can do in the specific town. So all this is already ongoing. But very soon, the people of the town will start to volunteer their three hours a week. And we'll need these tools to register. We cannot go on a spreadsheet or on Excel, of course. So we need all these tools to, uh, we, we can do without to start, but at some point we need them to, uh, to be more efficient. So we already are very, uh, in the advance in the, in the vision, in, in the plan. And let's say we have 20 cities just waiting for us. So we are focused on one for now. And when we do it good, we can expand to the others. Nice, thank you very much. You have two minutes left. So who wants to know more from Victor and Sean? Yeah, any question? I have Alex. one follow-up question if there is no competition. Uh, but basically my question is, I'm trying to understand it. What is the highest ROI activity that you plan to start with? So basically the minimum of time of inhabitants to generate the most value, what it is? Well, I'm, uh... I think I will uh, understand the question. We have a uh, partnership all around the world, for example, and we have we will have free electricity. We have new technology that will bring us free uh, electricity that we will implement in this town. And this will drive all the other business. When you don't have to, uh, to care to pay the bills of electricity you know, to the government, you can focus on other things. So okay. the first thing, the first force is this, is the free electricity that will uh, free uh, many energy for other for people to do other things. But what about something that you can build to exchange with other cities? Because likely one city will not be able to produce everything. So what will this something that you can produce very affordably at the same time exchange for high value with others? Well, every city will have its own specific you know, buildings and facilities that we can use. So it can be a, 
a factory of, of ecologic clothes, or it can be permaculture, it can be food, can be anything. Every city. But specifically for this city in Lebanon, you should already have some plan specifically for that. In Lebanon, in Lebanon, it's uh, it's mostly touristy, tourism. The city is very close to Beirut, and uh, it's a beautiful city on the mountain. You have a lot of hike uh, you can go. So, tourism-wise, it's uh, it's very great. You have a lot of good wine, so it will thrive the business. So it's tourism to start, and also it's the energy. Once again, it's the free energy that we can distribute to other cities. Okay, appreciate. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. 10 minutes are over. All questions seem to be answered. Three very interesting topics. Thank you very much for presenting yeah, and uh, actively contributing to this uh, healthy discussion. And uh, now it's time Thank to you, go please. back to the breakout room. We have 15 minutes uh, to refill our coffee cups or whatever. Uh, and uh, I hope to see you later for the next three. Thank you very much. All right. See you. Take care.